Surprise! That's right, you aren't in the wrong decade. Monday Night Raw is no more. Tonight is a triumphant return of Monday Nitro. And with the return of Nitro, there will be some changes. Big Kev, for the last several months, you interrupted Monday Night Raw. So tonight, I'm interrupting Monday Nitro. You're welcome for the rating spike. I hope you are proud of what you did. I hope Cody Rhodes, Mysterio, and Big Show are proud of their roles. Because a rookie with four months of experience nearly beat the best that you had to offer, Kev. If you want to call that a victory, that kind of explains why WCW went extinct in the first place. So what's your point, Triple H? My point is this. You say you want power? Hmm. You say you want to rule the world? Well, let's see how bad you want it. I say we push our chips to the middle of the table. Let's go all in. Your best six against my best six inside hell in a cell. The winner gets permanent control of Monday Night Raw. The loser? Well, the loser is never seen from again. You say you want WCW to rise from the ashes? This is your chance, Nash. Take a look around you, Hunter. Take a look. It seems to me that WCW is back already. No. You have your pretty banners, and you have your set, and you have your tiny little ring. But what you don't have is legitimacy. This is still the WWE. You're just playing dress up like a bunch of girls. I'm offering you a chance to rewrite history. To bring WCW back for good. But you have to risk it all. You say you go through the front door every time? Well, the door's wide open, Kev. I'm gonna watch Monday Night Raw burn to the ground. On one condition. Of course there's a catch, Kev. There always is with you. Now what do you want? You're right about one thing, Hunter. This is still WWE. Not for long, mind you, but it's still WWE. So I want this match on our turf. Somewhere where me and my guys won't get screwed like when you, Sean, and Vince screwed Bret Hart. You want WCW buried forever? You want Raw back? Well, to do it, you have to come to our house. You have to come to Star Kid. That's it? I'd have this match in your driveway, Kev. I live in a rich and gated community, Hunter. You'd never get past the guard shack. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. No, Nash. It's been nice knowing you. In the words of the chairman of this company, I guarantee it. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Monday Nitro is on the air live. Michael Cole here with WWE Hall of Famer, Jerry Lawler. Oh, this feels like sacrilege, Michael. And King, as we found out last week, this could be a permanent change. What in the world was Triple H thinking? Putting Raw's very existence on the line like that? WWE can be destroyed. Take it easy, Edge. Triple H knows what he's doing. So says the guy that cost us Raw in the first place. Bravo. Bravo. What are you trying to say, Miz? He's saying exactly what the rest of us are thinking. You don't deserve to be here. Look, I screwed up. But the fact of the matter is, Triple H still thinks I belong here. Now, if either of you have a problem with that, we can go to the ring and settle it. We saw the exchange earlier tonight. Up next, Edge and Miz get to take their frustrations out on Jacob Cass. Well, like Cass said, Michael, Triple H believes he should be here. 
Putting a rookie in the position that Cass was in at WrestleMania is asking an awful lot. That may be, but I'm not going to lie and tell you that I'm not going to enjoy watching Cass get punished for what he did to us. Jacob Cass, it's time to take your medicine. Really nice, Michael. I especially like that this is a handicap match. And down goes the Miz. Super kick, did he capitalize? Oh, oh man, that's gotta hurt. Uh-oh, this is bad. Big move coming. Oh, what a brutal shot. Jacob Cass counters it. In ah! another huge move. We got a tag. Very aggressive assault to the back. Hey. Jacob Cass wants to take a chance. Oh, geez, what a gamble. Edge is on Dream Street. And an opportunistic maneuver by Edge. Jacob Cass. Oh. Attack right to the back. Yeah. Look at the pressure. You can see it in his face. The agony. Ah. And he escapes the hole. here last month. Where were Edge and the Miz? I don't remember them helping out. Do you? King, it wasn't their job. It should have been, but it wasn't. The responsibility lied with Cass, and he couldn't get the job done. Well, that'll send you to the chiropractor. Jacob Cass. Watch out here. <sighs> Cass is holding his own. There you go. Hit him again. Come on, Michael. Enough's enough. That's Booker and Vader. What else can go wrong here? Edge and Miz are standing their ground. Do you mind? No. Look at Jacob Cass. There you go, Jacob. And there you go, Miz and Edge. Booker and Vader just paid the price for trying to get in the middle of this. Michael, look! I see it, but I don't believe it. Oh, come on! Team WWE is unified once more. Ladies and gentlemen, we are six days away from knowing if Raw will ever return or if WCW will rise from the ashes and seize Nitro forever. Michael Cole here with WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. And King, last week it looked like Team WWE was on the brink of falling apart. Oh, it sure did. But thanks to some interference from the WCW legends, Team WWE learned that it better start working together. And it's a good thing, too.
because with several superstars either injured or siding with Nash and his band of thugs, Triple H is running out of options. and Animal are attacking Jacob Cass. Come on, Jacob! We need you, kid! the arm up. Oh, that's it. That is it. Hey, over here. What's Cody doing? This is a trap. King, it's gotta be. Again. But Jacob Cass refuses to back down. Less than a week from the fate of Raw being decided, and WCW is trying to swing the scales to its side. enough.
when WCW riled up Jacob Cass a number of months ago, they could have never imagined that this rookie would be equal to the task. Oh, Michael, imagine this fury times 10. That's exactly what we're going to get this Sunday. it. Where are you going? I'm just taking out the trash. <laughs> 